Hi guys, in today's video, I'm teaching you about capacity and volume. So let's get started. Capacity is the maximum amount that a container can hold. It's measured by milliliter. ML. Capacity and milliliter. The capacity is measured by milliliter. Volume refers to the amount of space occupied by an object. It is measured by cubic centimeter. So you write cubic centimeter like this. So volume equals volume is measured by cubic centimeter. So you might ask why is there a tree in here? Why is there a tree on top of the centimeter? This tree is really important because this tree is referred to the three dimensions. Now we're gonna read here to see what are the three dimensions. A centimeter cube is a cube with length, width, height of one centimeter. So the three dimensions were length, width, and height. Volume equals one centimeter. Uh, okay, here a cubic container with all edges one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter long can hold one millimeter of liquid. Of liquid. So, so the relationship between volume and capacity are one cent are one centimeter of cubic, one centimeter of cubic, cubic one cubic centimeter equals to one millimeter. So here, the children use centimeter cubes to show the capacity and volume of each container. Help them record measurements, then fill in the blank. So the first one is number of cubes in each layer. Here we got a, we got to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Here will be seven times five, or simply thirty-five. Number of layers. So we gotta count here. One, two, three, four, five. There is five layers. Now capacity. Now we gotta count all of them. So, 30, so here, 35 times 5 equals to 175. So we could write 35 times 5 or 175 milliliter. Now we're going to go, this was capacity, now we're going to go to volume. Number of cubes in each layer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna write that. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So be. You have to write eight times six. Simply forty-eight. Now, number of layers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the volume. So, the volume, we could write 48 times 6. So, here we could write 48 times 6. Or, we could simply write... 288. Okay, let's go to the next page. The formula for finding the volume of a rectangle prism. Area of base. The area of base is the top and the bottom. It doesn't really show, but it's the top and the bottom. So here, this is the this the and this the height. Volume equals area 
of base times the height. So the volume equals the top and the bottom, no, the top and the bottom times the height. So here, this is, so here is set the volume. Well, they, do, they, they don't really count the bottom, but the area of base is the bottom too, but they just count the top. Be careful of that. So here is, gave us example. Here it says volume, seven times three. Seven times three and times four. So 7 times 3 is 21, 21 times 4 is 84, and the volume of this prism is 84 cubic centimeters. Now it gives us, uh, now it gives us another example, area of base. So here, the area of base, we got to count 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four. One, two, three, four. So we could say nine times four, or we could simply say thirty-six cubic centimeter. Now the height. This one should be. Uh, now this one should be easy. It's one, two, three, four, five. The height is five centimeters. The, now the volume we got to times thirty-six times five, and that would give us one hundred and eighty cubic centimeter. Now we're gonna do the last page. Here we got a harder, got a harder example or a harder shape. So in this shape, we have two parts, part A and part B. So here we got to find the volume of A. So this is A. You see this line, this is B. So first we got first we got to find what's 12 times 4. 12 times 4. 12 times 4. 12 times 4 is um, 48. So we write, we could write here 12 times 4, or we could um, simply write 48. So now 48 times 18 centimeters. So 48 times 18 centimeter is uh, 864 uh, cubic centimeters. Now we're gonna do the volume of B. So this is where it, things get tricky. So first we gotta find what this corner. So I already got the answer by see look this corner it equals to this corner and this corner equals to this corner and got the answer for centimeter right here. That was kind of hard. So Four, so we could simply write four times eight, or we could write, or uh, we could simply write thirty-two. Now thirty-two times five, so thirty-two times five is one hundred and sixty. So we got the volume of both of them. Now we got to add them together. So eight hundred and sixty-four plus 160 equals 1024 guys thank you for watching please subscribe like comment and share and the special video for 50 subscribers will be coming soon